How are we doing guys? Adam here. Hope you're all well. Uh, this is attempt number seven at recording this video. Um, I, the first one I posted, um, the audio was completely terrible and I had to quickly... <laughs> I didn't check it and I posted it uh, on Twitter and Facebook and everywhere. Because I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing. Um, right, so I believe I've got the audio and everything right now. So you should be hearing me, you should be hearing the audio well, but you should be hearing me above the audio. Um, which I which I know obviously is something that you would like to do <clears throat> due to my wonderful singing voice um, so let's do this game opposite edge of slumber so I have had a little bit of a play of this game it is a text horror game effectively some kind of space horror text game but I have a confession to make before I even start um, I'm a fan of these type of games anyway so I might be being a bit of a fanboy during this game um, and that's not to say any of the other games that I haven't that I've played so far in the game jam haven't been good. They've all they've all been good. Um, yeah, it's basically just the fact that I there's a more there's a very recent game called Unhallowed, and this has got the same kind of feel to it. Um, there's another one called uh, which is kind of it's not technically a tech it is a text adventure game, but it's game within a game. So the full series of games uh, was called. So the full uh, the uh, game um, was called Stories Untold, but the first one in it, which was released on its own originally, uh, was called uh, The House Abandoned. And again, this has got that kind of feel to it. It's very atmospheric. So without further ado, let's play Opposite Edge of Slumber. Okay. So, one night you fall asleep and see a dream. And you wake up in a smelly room, apparently. <laughs> We've all been there, don't worry. Right, porthole, we are in a guest module. Um, at the game, the point of the game is basically you've got to collect a bunch of keys, open a bunch of doors, get to a certain place. Effectively, you're stuck in a dream. So you've got to get to a mod, you're in a guest module now, you need to get to this other module, and then you can escape your dream. So, um, it's really cool. I mean, you can hear the sound in the background. There's some ambient music playing, which is really good. Um, the, uh, the 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 font will change throughout the game based on how woozy you are. Um, it's got this sort of um, what's the word? A scanliney type look. It's just very, very yeah, very nice. Very nice game. Um, ventilation in the distance. Uh, look at the bed. Can we sleep in the dream? Um, yes, you can if you're Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, well, that was his theory anyway. So, look at the blurry sign. Try focusing your vision. So, initially, I was typing focus. And I was like, huh, okay. It works another way more globally. And I must admit that threw me a little bit, but eventually, I just sort of figured, okay, focus vision. You are concentrating. And of course, the font tightens up. Uh, Claret Claret clears up, so that's really cool. We've got our first key, so we can take that key. Uh, you'll also see we've got a letter, so we can take that letter. And we can read that letter. And it gives a bunch of uh, kind of, yeah, assembly type, assembly type code. Um, Hexadecimal, I don't know, whatever the heck it is, code. Right. Yeah, and at that point, I think we're good in this room, so we leave. Did you hear that? Use the guest key. Use the key. You open the exit. Love this game. Very atmospheric. Very atmospheric. Um, I'm probably going to keep saying that, but as I say, I'm, I'm, a, fan of these, I'm a fan of these kind of games. Um, so, yeah. As you can probably tell, I'm not in my usual location, which admittedly, where is my usual location? It's elsewhere in the house. East. Uh, yeah, southeast passage. Can't wake up. East again. Someone is breathing behind you. <laughs> and you can't really do anything with that, so I always keep my east. It's hard to breathe. Gun pack, fridge, table, broken chair, large window. 
space, stars, and sun. Look at the chair. It's broken. We can look at the table. Now this has thrown me. I'm not sure what to do at this bit. So it says covered with dust, something green beneath. Um, and I haven't been able to crack this one yet. So I mean, if you look at green, you don't get anything. Uh, if you look at, I'm trying to look at the dust here. Yeah. Dust under the dust. Uh, can I take the dust? It's useless. Um, can I search the table. Blah 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 blah. Not understood. Can I examine the table? Can I can spell the word table. Yeah, I. There's something green underneath the table, but I can't quite get it. So anyway, so I can, however, do this. Open the fridge. No, sorry. Watch this. Look at the fridge. Can contain dangerous life forms. I can open the fridge, <laughs> and I die from. I die from a. You you die from a biological attack. It's the coronavirus. Um, game over. But you do get this thing. Now you've got to be careful on this point. Um, if the creator of this game is watching at this point, um, it's the twenty uh, sixth of March, seven fifty p.m. I think you have a problem here, because I think if I go, yes, it works and makes me look like a complete wally. That's not what happened the first time. Ignore that. That was me. There's nothing wrong with that system whatsoever. It's totally flawless. So, um, take the gun. Look at the gun. I believe it's empty. I'm all out of gum. So, yeah. Um... So there's something green under the table, but I've not been able to crack, crack that one. Um, but we're going to go west. Uh, okay, so we've gone east, 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 east. Now we're back out to the west. If we go south, I need an employee key for that one. Can I go north? If I can, can I go north again? Yeah. Can I go north again? You hear, you hear a whisper. Can I go north again? Someone's being behind you. Someone's chasing me. I need an employee key. That one. I believe if I go west. Oh, okay. Your steps sound muffled. Technician key. Captain's key. It's like I'm kind of picturing it as this big spaceship with these modular sections in it that I'm kind of wandering from around to around. It needs. It needs mapping. Um. I mean, for example, you've got you've got a pack of gum, which at this point doesn't seem to be doing anything. So you know, um, it'd be handy to kind of if I don't know if there's any maze sections that we're going to hit, but you've got a pack of gum there if you want to kind of do the old drop something, move around a little bit. But failing that, I think it needs mapping. Um, and this is the thing I haven't really got the time to map it in the kind of 20 minutes that I want to play. But uh, yeah, it, it, you know, that's what you want to do. There is a. Uh, I didn't want to come here actually. Right, now let's. No, sorry, I'm too far. Now I want to go this. Need a manager key, okay? Uh, I'm going the wrong way. There is a. There's kind of a bathroom somewhere and it's got a key in it because I hit that one earlier on. Take the crowbar. Gordon's property. East. Sorry, west. I wanted to go west. Sorry. Decay. Here we go. Okay, bathroom. Decayed clothes. So now, if you look at the clothes, remains of a station employee uniform. If we examine. That, But if we take the clothes, clothes crumble to dust, and we get a blue key. Now we can take the blue key. Okay, if we look at the faucet, blah, 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 blah. water dribbles from the tap, and I'm, I, you can't resist it. I mean, you've got to do it, haven't you? You've got to drink the water, and you die. You got poisoned.
actually humour me. Let me just can I save this? Yeah, one. Right. Uh, let me just drink the water again. Died. Game over. Yes. Dang. It, I'm so sure the first time I played it, it didn't uh, didn't start for me. But that's I'm good. It's just me being a wally. Ignore me. Right. Um. Uh, I've kind of had to do this by mental memory, so we need to. Sorry, come away. Uh, I need to get back to. That's it. North, north, uh, east. No. North. Use blue key. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Right, so. Chair. One. Primary pilot chair. Pilot's key. Oh, could we just take off and fly? Fly the ship. Okay. okay, we have a key. We have a key. We have a key. South, south, west, west. It's <laughs> it's funny. I've it's really dark. It's really atmospheric, and you get these messages saying somebody's behind you, and, uh, and so on and so forth. But I just, because I'm on my seventh attempt at recording this video. It's probably not coming across very well. The first time, first couple of times you play this, um, you've got these messages and you're, you're like, somebody's behind me, and, and yeah. Um, but unfortunately, because I'm on my seventh attempt at this video, um, you, it's probably not coming across how atmospheric it is, because I'm literally like west, north, do, 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 do. but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a spooky old game. Um, oh, technician's key. One thing that's good about it is actually if you just if you hit a locked door, if you type use key and you happen to have that key, I do think it actually opens the door, um, which is handy because otherwise you just be like, oh, I can't remember which key is which. Well, I won't. Think. I mean, I'm all over the place. Now. I mean, okay, I've got coloured keys, but I can I remember what they are? One's an employee key, one's a captain key. Yeah, and I forgot the third one already, so that just tells you my my memory. Ah, now we can go west. I've gone the wrong way. I have, I've discovered, a bit of a kind of, you know how some people can't do left and right, they get really confused. I actually get confused with east and west, but only in the context of game playing. I'm perfectly capable of finding my way around with the compass um, when I'm out and about, uh, but when it comes to games, um, I worked it out actually because when I was playing Zork, and it, it says you're standing west of a white house. Now for some reason when I picture that, I picture and it's going to sound stupid, but I picture going west to get into the house. And of course you don't, because if you type west you go to the forest. But just for the longest time, and also the White House in Zork, my, my mental picture of that house, because I've got those directions the wrong way around, I always picture the layout the wrong way around, opposite to what it is. Anyway, apologies, I'm going off on a tangent. Um, but what I'm saying is, I see I've done it again, I didn't want to go there. I mean, this is the thing. If you map this, you're going to have this really great, uh, which I think I am going to do because I'm really am. I'm doing for time. I really am quite getting into this game. Um, uh, see, we're here again. Use the employee key. I thought I had that key actually. Yay. 
manager's module. Okay, work on the couch. Soft and full of dust. Sit on the couch. Um, no. <laughs> Examine the couch. Does that give us anything separate? No. Strong box. It's closed. Open the strong box. It's going to tell us that it's locked. No, it's not. It's going to open. Okay, that did me. Take the key. Okay. Sign sign key. Manager key. Right. So let's just do quickly what we've got. Um, so we've got a manager key, a pilot key, guest key, manager key, a pilot key, a guest key, and an employee key. And I think at the beginning of the game it said there was, I might be wrong, I thought it said there were seven keys. No, there's seven things to collect. Um, now, interestingly, I haven't got any. Although I've got these keys, I don't. Uh, seem to have uh, got anything. Okay. Also, Mr. Fat got some gun keys. One captain, two hoss, three pilot, four manager, five technicians. Are they the keys? What? This is what happened before. So I, so last time I drank the water in the faucet, and then I, um, yeah, died obviously. And it said restart, but instead of usually you'll do Y or N, but I did yes, and it just went click down to this. So I think I've, uh, I'm sorry, man, but I've killed your game. Um, right, okay. So I'm not sure what's going on for this. However, and it's now not responding to anything. Okay, cool. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're on 17 minutes, so we're going to call it there. Um, aside from this, what I think is possibly a little bug, which I'm going to, uh, I'll flag up to the uh, to the uh, creator of it. Aside from that, wow, excellent, excellent game. I think I have to say I'm, I'm biased anyway. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't the game, the, the one that I've enjoyed the most so far. Um, I've enjoyed all the games; they're all good, they're all good fun. Um, but my personal bias is that I like the kind of horror-y type stuff. Like I say, I like House Abandoned, I like Unhallowed, uh, I like Lurking Horror with the sound in the background. So yeah, this is kind of in that, this is this is in that box. So this is ticking my box. So yeah, this, this is a game, good uh, game for me. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it's given you an overview of the game. Give it a go and uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.